Cancer. Cancer, welcome. Thank you all for being here. Uh, to my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. It, you have been the greatest supporters of my channel, and I do appreciate you all being here. Uh, let's look at doing a general read for you guys today, looking at your current energies. So we're going to look at your energy. I'm using a new deck. We'll see how that turns out for you as well. Ooh, it's very, very stiff. Uh, I do like it, though. Uh, let's look at your current energy. Cancer. Current energy for... Thank you. Current energy, five of cups. Hmm. Why is the five of cups here for you? Four of coins, knight of swords, king, knight of coins. Well, the knight, five of cups speaks of regret. And I almost get that you regret possibly not taking action towards somebody with the knight of swords here. And the four of coins. You feels like you should have held on to somebody. And almost feels like more of an effort because this knight of coins just kind of walked away. Very interesting. What is the desire? Thank you. Five of coins. Temperance. Four of wands. Seven of swords. With the five of coins here, I get that you don't ever want to feel like this again. There was stability here. Possibly you're looking for equal give and take, some balance, some healing, stability. And with the seven of swords, I get that there's a lot of things that were that you want to go on where somebody chases you. Somebody's kind of like hey you know you're worth you're worth more than what you have is what i want to say so in this desire i feel that to summarize it it would be that for somebody to r realize that you have more worth than just your possessions So what is the outcome? Thank you. King of Cups, the Sun card, Seven of Coins, Princess of Swords. So the Knight, King of Cups is talking about love. The Sun, yes, it's all here. Happiness is here. There's a future here. And the Princess of Swords. This is a unique card to this specific deck. And this individual focuses on nothing but the truth. She is someone that is very clear and concise in her dealings. So it's almost like, for what I can say, is that... You need to sort of keep looking at things and how they are doing. So this love that's coming in as the outcome, it's very clear. Maybe this is somebody that you're spying on a little bit with the Princess of Swords here, but there seems to be a future here and happiness as well. So what is working for you? The Ace of Coins, the Death card, the World card, and the Ten of Cups, like, uh, this is pretty awesome. The Ace of Coins, a new start, something to work on. Change, working on change, bringing yourself into the happiness and success that you desire and the Ten of Cups. So maybe you are working with somebody on this already, or maybe that this individual, because you're already working on your stuff, it makes it easier for them to come in. But you see them with the clarity that needs to be seen. You're not caught up in the love story. What you need to be aware of is the fool, followed by the devil, the ten of wands, and the princess of cups. Now, the princess of cups talks about forgiveness. There is possibly a reconnection here. 
but she knows how to love. So with the fool, there's possibly somebody that's coming in that's made a lot of effort to come in. Uh, this could be a uh, Capricorn with the devil here. But with the fool, it's like, be careful of taking lots of leaps of faith into the arms of people that just show you love. But at the same time, we see that with the fool, this new beginning or this whole new start, don't get stuck in your head that love is just a lot of work. Why do we, why does love have to be a lot of work? Like I've heard it said before, you know, you should never beg for love. Is that correct? I can't remember the other two. But let's pull three more cards around this for you. Thank you. King of coins. Three of coins. Queen of coins. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Very nice. I like this. King of coins, queen of coins, three of coins. Can this be any more clear? Working life together with your divine counterpart. I like it. I'm not going to say any more on this because that sums it up just beautifully. That's what I have for you, Cancer. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up, thumbs down or subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will see you next week. I hope this is, week is better than your last and we will talk to you next time. Stay safe.